Hey guys, as always, it's the Digital Pumpkin Cat, and today we will be talking about the first 2025 prop from my favorite company in the world, Distortions Unlimited. Now, I might be a little bumpy uh, since, you know, I haven't done these videos in almost a year now, so yeah, anyway, Distortions, new prop, let's get into the Banshee. Without any further hesitation, you know, this is the static version. And, of course, there was an animatronic. Um, I will just be basically talking about the Banshee character herself. I didn't really ever get to do that, so that's going to be exciting. So I'll just be talking about that and, you know, since it doesn't move and all. But I really love what they, they did here. Of course, if you've seen the animatronic, the animatronic floats up. They found a way to incorporate that into the static, which I found very, very impressive and just intimidating because that adds another five inches to her. And she is 7.5 inches, so she is already already a very intimidating and scary character, even without the look. And now that she's rising as a static, I find really, really cool. I also love how versatile this thing is. You know, you could use her as a cemetery statue, which I've been selling a lot of props to save for a new pro prop, and I'm really thinking about this one, so, you know, tell me what you guys think. But that's kind of what I would use her for as, like, a statue in the cemetery. Or you could use her for, like, you know, sci-fi themes. You could use her for a lot of stuff, and, you know, she's just very, very versatile, which I love in props. And, of course, she has the gizmo inside of her mouth, that allows her to open and close up those um, giant teeth, which I find really, really cool. Again, you could just use her as a creepy graveyard statue, or you could open up those teeth and, you know, kind of make her into a mutant. And I, that's what I love about this prop. It's just very, very versatile, and I'm, I just really love how they did that. This would work so well in a corner, work so well in a UFO, you know, from a corner to a UFO. And I just love the look overall. The sculpt by Jordu is amazing. Uh, Marsha, of course, came up with the idea. That's amazing as well. I just really, really love the character of Banshee and how it all came together. And I just love the concept that, you know, Banshee's scream and the cut open mouth, the mutated mouth is just so, so cool incorporating to that character. And I just really love how it all came together here. And I'm so, so thankful that she made it, that she got made into a legend prop for 2025. And I will definitely be eyeing this thing. It is, if you didn't know, it is um, 600 and, 690, which, you know, if you know nothing about pro props and you're just a retail animatronic collector, you might be probably clicking off the video right about now saying, you know, fuck this prop, but that is a really good price for what this thing is. Uh, I'm not going to explain it on all. You'll, you'll learn later in time, but I just really, really love the price too. Again, it's definitely a possibility for me. Not now, but it is on sale now, so go grab it if you really want it. Me, I will have to wait. So thanks for watching, and as always, Digital Pumpkin Cat, like and subscribe. And shout out to Distortions for making yet another great legend prop. I cannot wait to see new 2025 original ideas from them.